Anxiety. Anxiety? Emotions. This is chia pudding, my favorite snack. The show is everything in more detail. The trick is to not get carried away. I think I finally woke up and I'm running a bit late. I'm not going to my main university today. I'm going to Utrecht because my supervisor recently moved there. So I'm sort of also affiliated to the University of Utrecht so I just go there once a week and today's the day so difficult to believe that I've been back for a month now and not more it feels like I've been back for half a year and when I think of all the things that I did within this one month that's remarkable considering that I wasn't feeling great and I was tired all the time there's something about Amsterdam it just makes me happy Wherever I travel, I always buy something, something small. It could be like a pair of socks, it could be shoes, it could be anything. So wherever I go, I try to buy something to have it as a memory from that place. When I was in Edinburgh, then I didn't really manage to buy anything. And then just when I was leaving at the airport, I decided to buy a book. And I bought this one. And I, I know that I could buy this book anywhere. I can also buy a pair of Adidas shoes anywhere, but it's, this book will always be uh, in my memories that I bought it in Edinburgh. So I was reading something else before and I finally finished that book. It was the worst book I've ever read, but I still enjoyed it. But I find the language in this book quite difficult, but it's, it's a funny story. So I think... Uh, once you get into it, it will be quite entertaining. Now I'm waiting for my tram to get to the university. And the weather seems amazing. Maybe today I can check out the botanical garden of the university. Wait, did I just miss this tram? No way. No, it just disappeared. There, there was no tram. Now it's just four minutes. Weird. I finally made it uh, and I have a meeting in 10 minutes. So I have to prepare for that and answer 15 emails, I think. So we went to the Botanical Garden for lunch. It was amazing. The weather is beautiful gorgeous outside and so sad that I need to be inside. I'd gladly take my laptop and sit outside somewhere. So I have several main projects going on. One is the project that I worked on in London. So now I'm trying to write it up. 
I also have another side project that I developed with my friend. So I'm working on that a little bit to get some preliminary data to figure out how to continue from this point onward. I have one master student uh, and I have to work on that project as well to do some literature search and I'm getting another master student now that I'm partially going to supervise so I need to dive into that subject as well. So there is a lot of things to do actually today and of course it's impossible to do everything today but I will just start working on whatever I feel like right now. and now I'm walking towards the station to take a tram and then to take a train and then to take a metro Good morning! Today is Monday and I don't know why but I always like to record my vlogs on Monday just like a fresh start of the week it's like a new page this week especially is quite nice because we have Thursday and Friday off which means that I only have to work today, tomorrow and on Wednesday but I still might need to work on Friday because it's a long story there is one conference uh, about extrasolar vesicles in Seattle, in Washington. I really wanted to go because we recently carried out one project about extrasolar vesicles and we are trying to publish it now. And I submitted my abstract in December or November, I don't remember, last year. And I really wanted to go. And I got accepted for an oral presentation uh, and I was really excited about it. And then I started applying for a visa and you know for the us visa the waiting time for an interview was so long the earliest appointment was after the conference and i know a lot of people texted me that, that it's still possible to apply and then if something becomes available then you can go earlier but i had no idea and i was so stressed in london that i had no energy to deal with it uh, so several times when i checked it was not possible and the earliest appointment time was getting further and further so then I gave up and then, so instead my supervisor was going to present on this conference, but she cannot travel now. We are still figuring it out if I can present it online or if I can record my talk. Uh, but I don't know how that's going to happen and I'm also not sure about the timing. But today, the only important thing that I have to do is to give a lecture and it's around 3 p.m. today. And I don't know where exactly, so I have to figure that out. It's in another building. Uh, I gave this lecture last year, but I only did half of the lecture. And this year I'm going to do the full lecture. And I have my slides prepared, but I haven't practiced it. So I think today when I get to work, I have to practice my presentation first. And then probably I will do the rest of the things that I want to do today. And then at 3.30, the lecture is going to start. And it will last, I think, for one hour and 40 minutes. I'm going to take you with me today. I'm going to show you what my day is like. But I think today is going to be quite chill because 
but maybe not who knows i need to tell you about one podcast episode that i discovered a few days ago and completely blew my mind you know that i'm obsessed with the diary of a ceo so it's a podcast if you haven't seen my previous vlogs it's a podcast called the diary of a ceo and i found out about it when i lived in london and since then i haven't missed a single episode i think a few days ago i listened to this episode i think it's called like new research or shocking research about glucose so basically it's an interview with a scientist a biochemist who is an expert in glucose metabolism and she also gives us a lot of tricks about uh, how to eat so that we don't trigger these glucose spikes and we we eat everything that we wanted to eat but how to reduce the sugar spike or how to flatten the curve it's an amazing episode i learned so much from it i think i bored my boyfriend because i'm only talking about this and i already started incorporating some of the hacks that i learned in this episode <clears throat> I also have amazing news that I started my own podcast recently because I was so inspired with all these podcast episodes that I was watching. My free time is quite limited and making one video a week was already challenging. And now making one podcast on top of the vlogs is quite a lot. And I think I'm hitting the wall, but I, I really like it. These episodes that I recorded and edited recently even though i have a microphone but i haven't started using it to simplify it a bit so the quality is not great but the content and the process of recording and editing is really interesting and and i'm loving it so far so i hope that my energy levels and my time management allows me to uh, make more episodes but today i thought that it was time to make a vlog and especially to make a vlog for my english channel because i think in the last two months, I posted only one or two videos. I mean, a uh, nice parking bra. By the way, it's really cold. Yesterday was summer, so I had no idea that it would be this cold today. I forgot to tell you how I feel. I feel wrecked. Even though it's Monday, it feels like it's Thursday. Recently, I increased my distance of running. So yesterday I ran 15, even though I had no energy for some reason. I don't know. I can't really figure out what to eat before running. So I feel energized and not too full. Really difficult. I'm so tired. I'm sleep deprived because for some reason, even though I was tired, I couldn't sleep properly. I don't know how to survive today, really. If you're one of the people who wants to get into running and to run long distances I'm gonna tell you one thing that you have to consider Say goodbye to your toenails I'm gonna leave you with this mental picture You're welcome Back to this podcast episode that I was talking about The name of this person that I'm referring to is Jessie and she goes on Instagram as glucose goddess. We learn that we have to take care of our blood sugar only if we have diabetes or pre-diabetes. You can listen to this episode yourself, but I'm gonna tell you what I learned from it and the biggest takeaways. So I'm the one who suffers with sugar cravings. I always crave sweet food. We learn from research more and more that sugar spikes whenever you eat sweet foods influence everything sugar spikes influence how fast you age your mental state your energy levels your cravings you have to reduce sugar spikes so what can one do to flatten the curve so that you are more energized you don't get hungry uh, faster that you don't age as fast, you don't get wrinkles. I was listening to one episode from Huberman Lab. He had one guest who is a mental health expert and he was talking about ketogenic diet and how he treats mental patients. So these are mental health patients that tried everything, all the treatments and nothing worked. And then this person starts to treat them with diet and with, especially with reducing 
sugar intake. So ketogenic diet is really, really, really difficult to maintain. It's not sustainable for an average person if they don't have any underlying reasons to do it because it's really tough like you basically don't eat any carbs or very little one of the things that i learned that completely blew my mind is that the order that you eat your food can reduce the sugar spike with up to 70 percent so imagine a normal meal you have your salad or some kind of veggies you have carbs like rice or pasta and you have your protein it could be any source of protein vegan it could be chicken it could be minced meat whatever whatever you feel comfortable with so you have your salad you have your protein and carbs one way to go is to eat your pasta or carbs in general then eat your protein and fat and then eat your salad and then the other way the correct way to do it is to eat your salad then eat your protein and fat and then eat carbs last and the difference is huge and i actually heard this first on tiktok how crazy is that so there's one guy on tiktok i have no idea really what's his name even though i am not diabetic but i'm super interested in blood glucose and in general nutrition i saw one video when this guy did this so he changed the order of his food even though the portion and the content was the same and his blood sugar spike was way way lower or it wasn't really a spike but it was a tiktok video you know so i didn't really take it seriously and then i hear this in this podcast and it's actually scientifically proven that the way you eat your food can have such a big difference on your metabolism this is crazy this is mind-blowing so what we could do is to have a veggie starter whatever you eat just eat your veggies first raw or cooked it will have a huge impact on everything so just eat your veggies another thing that i don't feel really comfortable with is vinegar so you have to dissolve one spoon of vinegar in a big glass of water and then drink it before you have your meal so I'm not really a big fan of vinegar, so I don't know if I can do that. But if you are diabetic, if you are pre-diabetic, I think you should look into it. Especially if you, if you are about to have like a really sweet thing, like a piece of cake or so, a glass of vinegar can really reduce the impact. And I really recommend checking her Instagram out actually. She's amazing. I hate when this happens. I need to... Look at the bridge. I need to wait for 10 minutes now. No, 10 is an exaggeration, maybe five minutes. And then what I hate is that, so there's this traffic of cyclists. And then when it closes actually and when you can cycle, people fall because it's a slope and some people can start cycling. And I've seen so many people falling over and injuring themselves. So we have an open office and usually PhD students are supposed to sit there but since today I have a lecture and I want to practice my presentation I think it will be better if I get a room on my own and then I can actually practice out loud and luckily this one is free time to work some of the slides I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm most proud of how cute I love it it's three now and I'm going to another building to find uh, 
find a room where I have to give a lecture. I have no idea where it is. So I'm going there a bit earlier. I feel way more energetic now than I felt in the morning. My legs managed to recover, so it doesn't hurt anymore. I'm excited for the lecture. I'm curious how many students are gonna be in there. So it's like 5.30 now, I think, and I'm cycling home to warm up. And I need a cup of tea, desperately. It went quite fine, but it was just so cold that I was freezing. So I had two presentations, one in Menti and one in Google Flights. And switching those two are still such a hassle. I hate doing it, but it's still nice to keep students active, to keep them engaged. I have two goals today. One is to do some Pilates because I haven't been doing as much Pilates and yoga as I want to. And I also have a podcast episode to edit. And I really want to do the first draft today. Life hack. Dear YouTube, if you do this, it doesn't spill. What are you making? This is Monday food. Oh, it's yeah, been, it's Monday. It's actually Monday. Okay. Uh, yeah, mine's meat pasta. <laughs> it's like muffin. Yeah, I'm making some salad, so we balance each other out. Veggies first. What do you need at work today? Salad. <laughs> I bought these flowers in Leiden uh, two days ago, and when I came back to Amsterdam they were really really sad they looked terrible when was that I think that was Saturday so two days ago and I thought that they died and they wouldn't survive but they are looking definitely way better today than yesterday so maybe there is some hope what are we gonna watch now uh, dope sick we've been obsessed with dope sick recently It's nine and I'm so tired. I just wanna go to sleep, really. But it's a bit too early. So I made myself some tea and I'm, I'm gonna start editing now. I don't think that I can edit much, but whatever I can do is gonna be better than nothing. And then I'm gonna sleep. But anyway, Thank you so much for hanging out. Even though it was a chill day, I am exhausted. Maybe because I haven't recovered from yesterday's run, but that's what Mondays are for, right? Who feels good on Mondays? But anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna see you next time, whenever the next video is gonna be.